Hello, good afternoon, students. How are you? I hope all of you are fine. Been fine. <coughs> I'm also fine. So join the class as soon as possible. Mentioning your name, roll number, section, and seat. Today I'm to continue. I'm going to continue. Chapter eleven. <coughs> Chapter eleven, lesson five. Photosynthesis. Lesson 5 to 6. Water cycle, carbon cycle and oxygen cycle. Photosynthesis. You know that with the help of sunlight, the plants prepare their own food through photosynthesis. Do you know how this happens? Is it, is it physical or chemical change? In photosynthesis, the plant produces glucose and oxygen by the reaction of carbon dioxide and water with the help of light. The produced glucose works in the growth of plants and oxygen help us in breeding. Carbon dioxide plus water in presence of light and chlorophyll glucose it give rise to glucose and oxygen page number 127 thus it has been observed that it has been observed that the produced substance in photosynthesis glucose and oxygen are completely different completely different different than reactant carbon dioxide and water. That is why it is a chemical change rather than physical change. What would happen if photosynthesis did not occur? We did not get enough oxygen for our inhalation. So we can say that photosynthesis is such a chemical change that is essential for our survival. Uh, you know, photosynthesis, also we studied in class 6, what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process of producing food by the plants in the presence of sunlight. I mean daytime. It occurs in at daytime, not at night, because it needs or requires sunlight without sunlight photosynthesis does not occur so water cycle so with the with the help of photosynthesis the glucose and oxygen are produced uh, uh, with the help of in presence of i mean Synthesizes, synthesis, uh, synthesis of, with the synthesis of chlorophyll, you know, by giving, uh, reacting, carbon dioxide reacting with water. So I see only, uh, most of the student only give presents, uh, but they don't stay online with the class they don't listen to the class they don't watch the class it's a matter of regret uh, so all of you are requested to accompany 
to accompany Triponsar because Triponsar is very helpless. Without a student, Triponsar is very helpless, very poor, and feel very worried, feel lonely. That's why you are requested to accompany me every day, every classes, uh, regularly. Otherwise, I feel very disgusted. I feel very boring. If I see that most of the students are, I mean, are present with my class, I feel very <coughs> happy. I am and very pleased to see the student because uh, there is clear how many students are online, are present online. We can see very clearly. So we can also report to the class teachers that this student is not present from first to last. We can report. Even if you are pres if you give presence, I mean name, uh, then you then you go away. It is uh, it is same as you are present as you are absent uh, rather you are present so don't uh, exercise or commit this mistake again and again because you give only the name roll number class like that uh, ship section like that but you are not present with me i can see very clearly right so uh, we don't we don't do that as a teacher we cannot do that because you already put your name roll number section and seat and we can also make you absent by uh, observing you you are present or not till the end of the class uh, so you should remember this every teacher can do this but you are present but you are not uh, staying with me, you are not doing class till the end of the class, right? So thank you for listening my suggestion or advice. Next is water cycle. You know that we get water from various sources, such as we get water from rain in our country. In the rainy season, different areas of the country are inundated with flood water. Okay, tell me from where this flood water come. After the rainy season, where do they go back? Again, in the next rainy season, uh, rainy season, uh, from where do they come back? Water moves from one source to another in a cyclic way on the earth. You know how it rains. Heat from the sun converts water into water vapors from the earth surface that is pond, canal, river and sea water is converted into water vapor. Water vapor goes up and forms water drops. These water drops are combined together to, to form clouds that float around. Water drops of the cloud combine with each other to form last, uh, to form clouds that float around. Water drops of the clouds combine with each other to form large drops that come down to the earth's surface as raindrop. Water drops of the cloud when become too cold, it forms ice that comes down to the soil as hail. Rain water flows to the river, from the river it flows to the sea. In this way water moves from the surface of the earth to the cloud as water vapors and from the cloud to the earth's surface as raindrop. This rain water flows to the river from where they ultimately reach the sea. This cyclic movements of water is called the water cycle. It is to be remembered that a portion of rain water goes down under the soil, makes a reservoir. It is called underground water. We leave this underground water, use it for drinking, washing and irrigation purposes. The wind carries some water vapors, some water vapors as cloud and reach the peak of the mountain. 
clouds cool down there and form snow in summer season the snow melts due to heat of the sun come down the mountain in this way very small rivers are formed on the slopes of mountain this small hilly rivers with drain water make big rivers when come down to plain land this water ultimately falls into the sea from water to cloud from cloud to snow on the mountain peak thus water cycles again when the snow melts water moves to the river ultimately to the sea again the thus water moves in cyclic order you can understand water cycle clearly from the above diagram some important changes related to water cycle is vaporization condensation solidification let us see which of them occurs what type of change uh, first one is vaporization in this process water in this process water from pond river and ocean enter into atmosphere through transforming into vapor with the heat of sun now tell is vaporization a, a physical or chemical change it is definitely a physical change because here the water only turns into vapor from liquid state any different substance has not been produced condensation the vapor created after vaporization gradually goes up where the temperature is comparatively low for that the vapor turns into little drops of water or cloud after condensation the process where vapor turns into cloud is called condensation this is a physical change as well and mainly opposite to vaporization in this process water turns from vapor to liquid the property remains unchanged solidification in the water cycle water drops of clouds get trees and turns uh, into ice then this ice is stored on the peak of the mountains comes down on earth as hailstone what type of change does it occur when water turns into ice do the properties of water change because of it if the property if the properties of water do not change it is a physical change uh next is carbon cycle uh uh i mean uh let's uh, repeat again the water cycle you know water cycle uh, is very common process we see uh, in in our day to day life or every season or every year how water cycle is created water cycle is completed by uh, as you see rivers ponds ocean bay i mean the water bodies you see these water bodies are heated by the sun or sunlight after heating the water bodies i mean seas rivers like that then uh, by the sunlight with the help of the sun the water is heated and vaporized after vaporization uh, uh, there uh, uh, the water the water vapor creates water vapor creates clouds heavy clouds i mean uh, with the uh, with the drops of uh, drops of water and after after turning into clouds then it falls down as rain you know then after heavy rainfall there is flood there is the overflowing of water and the rivers this water then uh, go up by vaporization with the help of sunlight then it come back again uh, mm, 
in the water bodies and some rains uh, goes underground i mean uh, are uh, i mean are uh, what i say uh, are goes down underground or uh, inside the inside the i mean inside the hills inside the plain lands and then there is a there is a uh, reservoirs you know reservoir i mean deposit of water inside the ground or underground that it makes um, uh, makes uh, some river uh, some stream you know uh, from the big mountains or hills uh, this way the water uh, the water flows to the seas and rivers uh, rivers that's what the, then it's uh, cyclic way in cyclic process is comebacks uh, i mean one after another uh, process following one after another process this is the water cycle you know so in water cycle some of the process are vaporization condensation solidification what is vaporization vaporize in this process water from pond rivers and ocean i mean these three process are included in water cycle you know first one is vaporization in this process water from pond rivers and ocean enter into atmosphere through transforming into vapor with the heat of sun now tell is vaporization is physical or chemical change is physical change it is definitely a physical change because here the water only turns into vapors from liquid state any different substance has not been produced no different substance is produced and condensation the vapor created after vaporization gradually goes up where the temperature is comparatively low for that the vapor turns into the little drops of water or cloud after condensation yes the process which water turns into cloud is called condensation this is a physical change as well and mainly opposite to vaporization in this process water turns from vapor to liquid the property remains unchanged the characteristic remains unchanged solidification in the water cycle water drops of clouds get freezed and turns into ice then this ice is stored on the peak of the mountains and comes down on the earth as hailstone hailstone you know hailstone shila brishti shila brishti we get some ice pitch pitch of ice i mean the stone that is called hailstone what type of changes does it occur when water turns into ice do the properties of water changes because of it if the properties of water do not change it is a physical change there is no change of characteristic or properties that's why it is also physical change because the liquid has three water has three state we know first one is solid if it in a state of ice it is solid form if it is in uh, liquid form it is water it is uh, uh, water it's liquid and if it uh, if it is heated or boiled it is in vapor state hello hello Sorry for disturbing. Next is carbon cycle. What is carbon? is number 128 in carbon cycle we mainly see how carbon dioxide moves from one state or medium to another in a cyclic process the diagram of carbon cycle is given below 
do you understand what type of process or change is related to it one of the related changes is photosynthesis we have already come to know that in this process plants prepare their food glucose by reaction of carbon dioxide and water with the help of sunlight and produce oxygen for us do you remember what type of change it is carbon dioxide enters into the plant's body from atmosphere through this process an important step of carbon cycle is to transport into fossil fuel from plants the body parts of dead plants break down through bacteria and is stored as fossil fuel in the boils of art at a certain stage natural gas coal kerosene or petrol are prepared through this process but when dead plants break down through bacteria a part of it enters into the atmosphere by converting directly into carbon dioxide we use fossil fuel in various works such as in cooking cars industries and so on fossil fuel enters into atmosphere by transforming into carbon dioxide and water through this type of change plants then absorb carbon dioxide through photosynthesis from atmosphere is there any other process where carbon dioxide enters into atmosphere except combustion yes other fauna like human being also leak carbon dioxide gas during breeding and that enters into car atmosphere is there any other process where carbon dioxide are being absorbed from atmosphere except plant well do plants only prepare their food by absorbing carbon dioxide don't they release carbon dioxide yes plant release carbon dioxide through breathing like human and other fauna now tell what type of change it is when fossil fuels are produced from the bodies of plants and animal this is definitely a chemical change because the produced fossil fuel is completely different from starch protein etc so this is all about carbon cycle in carbon cycle we see a smoke from industries respiration photosynthesis a uh, process relay one of the related changes photosynthesis we have already come to know that in this process plants prepare their food glucose by reaction of carbon dioxide water with the help of uh, sunlight and produce oxygen for us do you remember what type of changes carbon dioxide enters into plant body from atmosphere through this process at important step of carbon cycle is to transfer into fossil fuel from plants <coughs> the body parts of dead plant break down through bacteria and is stored as stored as fossil fuel in the boils of uh, boils of art at a certain stage natural gas coal kerosene or petrol are prepared through this process but when dead plants break down through bacteria a part of it enters into the atmosphere by converting directly into carbon dioxide we use fossil fuel in various works such as in cooking gas cars industries and so on fossil fuel enters into atmosphere by transforming into carbon dioxide water through this type of change plants then absorb carbon dioxide through photosynthesis from atmosphere so this is all about carbon cycle so in the next class we will see oxygen cycle and lesson 7 8 lesson 9 10 the process of formation of rocks uh, like that so this is all about uh, for today thank you for joining the class staying with me watching my videos and i'll be in the next class we will continue oxygen cycle and till then best of luck take care assalam alaikum goodbye